Hello, oh, well, you Gary Bears above and beyond, and welcome to another edition of the Bear, the Gare Bear Review. Wow, I cannot believe I just did that. But it's a special edition because we are going over Comic-Con as well. It's a Comic-Con edition, as you can clearly see, my Comic-Con wall of awesome. This actually spawns at least over three years of artwork that I have acquired and awesomeness that I have gotten signed over the past couple years. There is more, I just didn't have enough room, but... We're going to go over This Is Where I Leave You. Uh, it was probably one of my favorite films within the within the last couple months that, uh, has, that has come out. This has got to be one of the, my favorite films of the year so far as well. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't really Oscar or award worthy, at, at least not now. I mean, the year is almost over, but you know, it, it's one of those films that's going towards the end of the year. You know, this is where you start to think, hey, what can be considered as award-worthy? But I'm actually going to be honest with you guys. This was, uh, this one particularly had drawn... I was drawn in because of the cast. It was a little, it was a little bit too high-profile for me to not check this out. Yes, I know. I went against one of my rules. I, I get it. You know, uh, only... But it was only to get me to the theater. The trick is actually trying to keep me there. And it did with the writing. It was written really well with even the expenditure of having so many characters and so many stories and trying, you know, to force into one one solid story. I mean, there were a lot of characters in this one. And and again, it really went well uh, with the story. The stories flowed separately. And when it came time to slowly put it together, it, w it actually worked out really great. It worked out really well. Now, unfortunately, like I said, there are a lot of characters with uh, too many stories going at once. It, it was a little hard and a bit confusing to uh, to, to follow at certain points, and then the stories were they were actually and the stories that they're actually trying to tell. Now, I said the cast is just a, it's just a never ending case of awesomeness. Like I mean, he, here's what you have you have you have Jason Bateman, Tina Fey, Jane Fonda. Burn, uh, uh, Han, Connie Britton, Timothy Osphant, uh, Dax Shepard, Driver. I mean, those are just the main characters. Yeah, the main characters. Now, again, I guarantee, even despite the level of sadness of the storyline, it's actually quite funny, and it actually... It wasn't really hilarious, per se, but there were, like, really funny moments as, the, as you go on throughout the film. Now, honestly, with a uh, uh, stupendous cast, really funny one-liners. Uh, Adam Driver actually stole the show uh, with you know with huge comic relief here and there in this film. Uh, but it was actually everybody. The entire cast did a great job with the characters they were dealt. They were uh, it, it was well. There was enough char There was enough character development for me to care about the characters on a personal note. Uh, on a personal note, I would actually like to see more of uh, the dad. You know, like more memories with the kids. Uh, you know, more stories with the kid, uh, with the characters. Uh, anything, just just more of it. You know, it would have put uh, the audience uh, in a better mood, in a better because uh, to to tell us to the audience, it, it would make a bet. It would create the the funnier, the funny moments. It would make it even more funny to us. You know, and even the sadder moments would have been a lot sadder, because we would would identify with the characters. We would be able to be emotionally connect uh, as the audience. We'd be to, we would be able to emotionally connect with the characters and their moments. Now, it literally and positively, figuratively, uh, has everything you need for an entertaining film. I definitely recommend this. In case you didn't know that already. Uh, you gotta check this film out. I de you definitely won't be uh, disappointed. Uh, you know, especially if you enjoy this type of uh, dramedy. Uh, that's a drama, drama co uh, comedy, if you will. Uh, but unlike this film, our next adventure will be the actually the complete opposite of what this is. Ow, that hurt. It is the new animated kids film, uh, Box Trolls. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you guys should like, should like, subscribe to my channel. I do apologize. This is a short episode. Schedules are a little tight uh, right now, which I'm I'm actually like a few uh, films behind as of the moment. But just stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned, 
and uh, wait until our next adventure. Bye!